Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll head straight to our second conversation where we look at uh, the killings in Zamfara State. Now, 200 persons have been killed and 10,000 displayed following the attack by armed bandits in Zamfara State. And that's according to reports saying that this is due to the military air raid, uh, you know, attacking their hideout as of last week. We do have the Commissioner for Information, uh, Zamfara State, Ibrahim Dosara, who would be telling us exactly what the situation is in Zamfara right now and what the government is doing as regards, uh, you know, the killings of this innocent and defenseless people in Zamfara State. All things being equal would also be joined by a security expert, uh, Yawuzo Getso. Good morning, Ibrahim Dosara. It's good to have you join us this morning on The Breakfast. Good morning. It's nice having me. All right, then. Uh, let's quickly share your thoughts. Can you, um, you know, tell us what the things, are, I mean, the situation of things are in Zamfara right now? And uh, first of all, that's uh, on the one hand. And secondly, uh, the death of the 200 persons, how does that make you feel? 200 persons, you said? Yes. No. That figure is not correct. So what is the figure now? The figure that was uh, assessed and compiled by both the community leaders and security experts in total is 58 in the two local government areas. In one of the local government, which is Bukwim, a village is attacked and uh, 36 people were killed there. And in Anka local government, seven villages were attacked, four of them banned, and 22 people were lost in the attack. And uh, His Excellency, the governor, visited the communities and uh, ordered for the repair of the houses that were burnt and relief materials assorted of uh, rice, millet, and uh, maize including uh, wrappers and other materials like blankets and mattresses were also delivered for those who are displaced. Well, um, Mr. Dosara, the newspapers um, a few days ago, um, more than one of them, you know, carried uh, different figures, you know, stating 143 bodies had been found, 147 bodies had been found. Are you saying that those um, reports are false? I, I, I come again. I'm saying the, the news reported about, you know, 147, 143 bodies had been found um, or recovered after what happened in, uh, in uh, Ankau in, in Zamfara State. Are you saying that those reports are false? The, the audio is not very clear. I can't hear you. Can you hear me um, right now? Okay. All right. I'm saying, um, or rather I'm asking... Are you saying that the reports that 147 bodies were recovered, are you saying that those reports are false? Yeah, it, it's absolutely false. Okay, so, so now let's talk about, you know, according to your figures, 58. Um, share with us what the current situation of um, security is like in Zamfara State. Uh, if... The government has agreed that 58 lives were lost. Um, what's the situation like currently? You see, in the first place, the government has uh, expressed its concern and remorse over the killing of such number of people and uh, condoled with the families of those who lost their lives, as well as uh, also encouraged the security agencies in the state to work up in ensuring they give protection to life and property of the people. And His Excellency was there uh, to encourage the military in their present operations in which the bandits are being attacked uh, in their enclaves, and which is the reason why they are running helter skelter looking for uh, where they will hide a safe haven for them. And uh, in fact, uh, the government assured the people that the operation will continue on and on until when the bandits are neutralized 
who are sent out of the state. Mr. Dosara, how long did this operation last? The operation will continue until when we see no, to no, the end of the banditry activity. No, no, in not, 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 the, not the operation. Of, I'm talking about the attack that led to the loss of, according to you now, 58 people. How long did this last? How long was this going on? Which one? The attack by the bandits that led to the death of 58 people, according to your figures. How long did it take? I don't get your question. I'm asking, how long was this attack that led to the loss of 58 lives? It was done within a day. So you're saying that in Zamfara State, for a whole day, bandits went on killing residents of Zamfara State for a whole day. And there was no response from security agents in no, Zamfara no, State? No, no, that is not correct. Immediately, the report was given that bandits are attacking the village. There was an aircraft around that area to um, ensure that the bandits are neutralized or dispersed from there. And the military, as well as police and other security outfits were there to uh, fight the bandits. So there is no iota of proof that there was no response. No, it's, the, uh, no I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. asking questions based on what you said. You said this happened in a day. So yeah, if, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, I'm, what I'm, so what I'm asking is... Some hours. Yeah, Mr. Dosara, apologies. What I'm asking is, so it took a whole day before there was that response from security agents. Are you saying that this I'm happened... I'm not saying the whole day. Understand me. I okay. think that attack was done within a day. Okay. You understand? But immediately we got information there was response from the security agencies, especially the military, and the aircraft was there. And that issue was uh, tackled by the military. Okay, so um, Ibrahim Dosara, I'd like also to find out, you know, the state of things as regards, you know, suspension of, you know, the network. It was a strategy that was put out by the government uh, to, you know, have a handle on the bandit. So uh, what is it like? Has that been suspended? Because it feels like that hasn't been very effective. And uh, can you also tell us if there's been any arrest that has been made following these attacks? Yeah, you see, the... Military and the police are on it. They are making a lot of arrests, uh, especially with the bandits and their informants. So you are saying that um, these bandits have been arrested? A few of them are in hand. Okay, so can you also tell us uh, what the state of things are with, uh, you know, suspension of network? You see, these are security plans and arrangements we made, and uh, it cannot be just, be, I mean, discussed on on media. Uh, Mr. Dosara. Because, you know, um, some persons have uh, questioned, you know, the, uh, what's it called again? Because if you look at the spate at which you had 200 persons being killed, like you mentioned, it took a day. And my colleague has been asking to understand uh, how 200 persons will be killed without a call for help. Some people are already thinking that due to the suspension of the, uh, you know, network, it, it probably would have made it impossible for people to cry out and call out for help. And so that's what we're asking. If this, uh, you know, method that has been put out by the government has been very effective, if that was suspended prior to this time, and uh, what's really going on as regards, uh, you know, protection of the lives of the people in Zamfara State? I told you we have security plans which cannot be disclosed over media. That has never been done anywhere in the world where security plans and arrangements are being discussed on media. Well, um, Mr. Dosara, you know, there have been security plans in the past. Um, in what ways can you assure the citizens of Zamfara that they will not continue to suffer death by their dozens in the hands of bandits? 
Well, it's, it's not only in Zamfara that people are being uh, subjected yeah, I, I understand to that, but we're, we're currently speaking There are many states in Nigeria. In fact, all over Nigeria, we have a series of uh, insecurities. So Zamfara State government is doing all it could to ensure the protection of lives and property of its people, just like any other government. Yeah, but, but, but this is where I have a challenge, Mr. Dosara. Um, Every state has its own peculiarity in terms of insecurity. Okay. And I agree with that. But once again, this is where I have a challenge. Um, from your statements, you said that the attacks happened in a day. Maybe not throughout the whole day, maybe less. But re reports, of course, say otherwise. Um, but I've been trying to find out how long it took before there was a distress call put out and then response from security agencies. And like you've said, an airplane flew over the area and there were security agents sent there before you know, um, you know, um, the bandits fled, I guess. So does that in any way assure residents of Zamfara that if for any reason they are attacked by bandits tomorrow, they wouldn't lose another 58 lives before there's a response from the security agents. You see, the Amparasot government is doing everything possible to ensure the protection of life and property of the people as its primary assignment. And since the inception of this administration, it has been making all frantic efforts to ensure that uh, lives and property of the people uh, protected. So um, I can assure the people of Zamfara State that in that plenty, Governor Pello Mutawala Maradin is doing everything possible to ensure that their lives and property are being protected. All right. Um, Mr. Dosara, uh, what's the relationship with the, you know, the Nigerian army? And can you share with us, you know, what the Zamfara State government's you know, relationship is with the army. Um, is there also c civilian JTF on ground in Zamfara State? Um, which security agencies are currently on ground um, in the state and ensuring c uh, security of lives and property? Come again? I'm asking with, you know, I'm, I'm asking if you can share with us, your Commissioner for Inform uh, Information, um, the relationship that the, the Zamfara State government has with the Nigerian army, uh, uh, members of the armed forces, and which other security agencies are currently on ground to ensure that there is no repeat of such uh, a disaster in Zamfara State? Yes, there is a cordial relation between the army and the Zamfara State government. And uh, the federal government is also helping to ensure that uh, all is well in terms of the current operation being undertaken by the military in Zamfara State. And the government has given them all the necessary support and cooperation they are looking for to ensure that they succeed in dislodging the ban. Would you in any way agree that the current government in Zamfara State, yes, I understand that it's a Nigerian problem with regards to insecurity, but would you agree that the current government in Zamfara State has not done well enough to protect lives and property of its citizens? I don't agree with you. Because uh, the government has been doing everything uh, adequately enough to ensure the protection of lives and property. I want to take you a little back to the history. Within the 100 days of this administration, it stopped the uh, killing, the rustling, and any other form of criminality in the state. In fact, it took the state one year in total peace without anybody being killed without any cow being rustled, and uh, people who are doing their things, visitors who are coming to Zamfara, unlike before the coming of the administration. And also, uh, government assisted in ensuring that there is total peace in the state until when complex entrepreneurs uh, stepped in to ensure that that peace uh, being enjoyed is sabotaged by the conflict entrepreneurs who include uh, people who supply the bandits with their essential needs, including weapons, including uh, alcohol, including foodstuffs and other necessities the bandits want in the forest. 
So uh, that was how that arrangement was sabotaged. And uh, as soon as the bandits came back with their attacks, His Excellency gave them uh, ultimatum to embrace the peace. Otherwise, he would fight them in total. And it reached a place where the government decided to strike, introducing the Zamfara model of uh, state of emergency, closing down the network and the other measures taken to ensure that the bandits uh, uh, fought seriously. Uh, that had given impetus to the military to carry out their work, uh, attacking the bandits and also forcing the bandits to be moving out of their enclaves and also stop the attack and the killing of people during the period. And then now the governor went to the federal government to seek the consent to have arrangement with the Niger Republic where uh, the bandits are now blocked and all people supplying them with the uh, weapons are blocked. Uh, in fact, some of the kingpin that supply the bandits with the weapons from Niger Republic were arrested and handed over to the Nigerian security. So you can see how the Zamfara State government under this administration has been working hard to ensure that the rights and property of the people are protected. Oh, um, Mr. Dosara, thank you very much for speaking with us this morning. Thanks for joining us. Um, it's nice talking to you. We hope to speak with you again soon, but on a totally different matter. Um, have a great thank day. Thank you. Well, that's the much that we can take at this point in time. It's been a very intense conversation, and we hope that you enjoyed every part of the conversation in the last two hours. We will definitely come through tomorrow with the breakfast, and uh, this is what we call it a wrap. Now, if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's all right to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, we're at Plus TV Africa, and of course, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Bopo. And I am Osaogi Ogmoa. See you tomorrow.